Hey guys, what's up? I'm Radizo, and today I will show you just how easy it is to make a save or backup of your Minecraft world. This will work for any world mode like creative, survival, or even hardcore. And you might want to do this every so often, just in case your precious world gets lost or corrupted. All you have to do is to open your Minecraft launcher and click on play, but we'll just skip this part ahead. Alright, so you then want to find the world that you want to make a backup of, or in my case, I will just make a total new one. There we go. And let me just adjust the terrain here simply to show you that everything will be exactly the same later on in our copied world. Now that's done, let's save and quit the title. It's very important that the world isn't still open, so make sure you don't skip this step. Here, you then want to find and select the world you want to make a backup save of. Now go ahead and click on the edit button. Here in this menu, you then want to click on make backup. And normally this notification should pop up in the corner here to say that it successfully copied your world. Now click on that same world again or any other one and just click on edit one more time. But this time you want to click on open backups folder and that should take you to a file that looks something similar to this, all right? The icons might look a bit different, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. You want to then right click on the zipped file with the name of your Minecraft world you just made a backup of and click on extract here or alternatively you can click on extract files, but you then want to set a download path and whatnot, but I'm just going to go ahead and extract files. Now if you don't have WinRAR installed on your computer or if you're on a Mac, this will probably look a bit different, but ultimately it should work somewhat alike. It's now time to go ahead and delete that zip file. Now you want to locate the extracted file wherever you saved it to and you'll see it is now this yellow color which is exactly what we want. Now I suggest you move this file to a safe location like a USB, a hard drive or even a separate file on your computer. For simplicity's sake let me just drag it to my desktop and before doing anything else this is very important you want to rename it to the name of your world followed by the date and time of the time where you're saving it at. Also, this will be very useful later on if you quickly want to locate the file afterwards. Okay, so now back to our Minecraft world. Do note, however, that whatever we do or change in this world will no longer be saved to the separate file we just made a copy of. So basically, every time you make some big progress on your world, I suggest you make a whole new backup file like we just did. And if you want, you can then delete the older one, but you should probably, uh, it's better off to keep at least one separate extra file just for file redundancy. All right, then let's say your world accidentally gets deleted or corrupted or your friend decides to pull a prank on you. There we go. The world is now no longer in this list and you can see we now don't have this world anymore. Not a problem, however, because we have an identical copy of this world. So one last time, click on edit and then on open world folder. This will open up the folder with all your world files saved in it. So as you can see, this is a list of all the worlds you will see in your Minecraft list. All right, now go ahead and go to that folder wherever you saved the previous file to. And provided you named the file, like I said, finding the right one shouldn't be a problem at all. I recommend you then make a copy and paste it into this worlds folder. Don't just drag and drop it, just in case anything goes wrong, you will then still have the separate copy file. Now go ahead and close off all of the folders and we can head back to our Minecraft and click on cancel, and twice that is. And when we click on survival, the backup should appear right in this list there you go, like nothing ever happened. So now I'll jump back into this world to show you that everything is still exactly the same as where we last left it off. If you found this video helpful guys, I would really appreciate a like and for more Minecraft videos like this, be sure to subscribe.